What the freak? Flesh-eating bug kills young mom. A 24-year-old care assistant from England was killed by a rare flesh-eating disease that developed after she was injured during a sex game. Mother of one Katie Widow's son hurt her left wrist when she was tied up by her boyfriend Dean Smith during some New Year's Eve bedroom frolics. The next day, Katie went to the hospital to get checked out, and doctors told her she had a sprained wrist and sent her home with some painkillers. But Katie was in fact suffering from the deadly bacterial infection necrotizing fasciitis. The family says the hospital was negligent because red flags for sepsis were ignored by medical staff. Katie later sent her boyfriend a photo of her wrist, saying she couldn't move it and was in a lot of pain. The next day, she developed burn marks on her arm. An ambulance was called, but it was too late. Katie had a heart attack on the way to the hospital and never recovered. A coroner told an inquest into Katie's death that her death was avoidable. She should have been kept in hospital when she first reported her symptoms and then undergone major surgery. Katie's family now plans to sue the hospital for negligence. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Warning. The following videos contain scenes of extreme grossness. Flesh-eating bug destroys man's life. A British man who survived a rare flesh-eating infection, only for it to return a second time, said his life had been ruined by the disease. Car salesman Lee Murphy has been infected twice with necrotizing fasciitis, which eats the body's soft tissue. The 37-year-old from County Durham in the northeast of England was first diagnosed with the killer condition just over a year ago. The bug destroyed the flesh on his right leg, all the way from his thigh to his foot. Murphy spent five days in a coma, and doctors gave him just 12 hours to live at one point. But his life was saved by a series of skin grafts as he underwent a total of 16 operations. Murphy began to recover, but in February this year, the disease came back, this time on the back of his right leg. The flesh-eating bug has stripped away his skin and eaten his calf muscle, leaving him on crutches. According to Public Health England, it is extremely rare, though not unheard of, for a patient to contract necrotizing fasciitis twice. Murphy said he wanted to raise awareness of the condition, as he waited to see if his latest skin graft operations were successful. Strep throat leads to little girl's leg amputation. An aspiring young dancer in Ohio is recovering in hospital after a case of strep throat led to a severe infection that caused her to lose her leg. Six-year-old Tessa Puma developed a case of strep throat and was prescribed some antibiotics in early March. But then last week, when she got hit with the flu, she started complaining to her parents about pain in her arms and legs. Tessa went to two hospitals before doctors diagnosed her with necrotizing fasciitis, a flesh-eating bacterial infection. The pain in her legs intensified. When doctors performed surgery to relieve swelling, they discovered severe damage in her left leg, in addition to parts of her shoulder and back. Necrotizing fasciitis can develop when bacterial infections migrate from the bloodstream and infect membranes surrounding muscles or other internal organs. Doctors think the strep bacteria entered Tessa's bloodstream and caused the infection. The infection got so bad the doctors were unable to find a pulse in her leg, so in order to help her heal, they amputated her left leg from the knee down. Tessa is recovering in the Akron Children's Hospital, but will need further procedures and other parts of her left leg removed to help her survive. Flesh-eating fungus destroys Vietnamese woman's face. A young Vietnamese woman has died after her face was destroyed by a flesh-eating fungus when a sinus infection got out of control. The 28-year-old started experiencing discomfort and pain inside her nose a few years ago, which doctors diagnosed as sinusitis. After the pain persisted, her family started looking for cures before surgeons operated on her a year later. Unfortunately, the operation only made the infection worse. Even though her family spent around $224,000 US dollars on different treatments, the infection continued to spread. Within a year, the infection had eaten away most of the woman's face, destroying her nose, mouth, and forehead. Last December, she was at a local temple where her mother was forced to pour water down her mouth. She finally passed away from the infection on December 27th. Medical experts said her infection was most likely caused by a combination of fungus and poor medical treatment. 
Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Bacteria found at Florida beaches and in raw oysters can kill. A bacteria present in the Gulf of Mexico is causing some concern for Florida beachgoers. Vibrio vulnificus is a bacteria from the same family as cholera. It is most commonly found in warm coastal waters as it requires salt to survive. While infections are rare, the bacteria normally infects people who enter coastal waters with an open wound or those who consume undercooked or raw oysters. Contrary to some reports, the bacteria doesn't eat flesh, but it can still harm the skin. If the bacteria enters the bloodstream, it can then damage the skin, and 50% of such cases is fatal. Oysters feed by filtering water, from which they extract algae and food particles, and sometimes the Vibrio vinificus bacteria. If an infected oyster is eaten undercooked or raw, the bacteria can enter the individual's digestive tract and multiply rapidly. According to the Florida Department of Health, the bacteria has infected 214 people and killed 66 since 2008. Deadly bacteria released at Tulane University's National Primate Research Center infected four macaques and one federal health inspector. Since the bacteria's release from Tulane's research center last November, two of the infected macaques have been euthanized. Tulane University's Biosafety Level 3 Laboratory, located 35 miles north of New Orleans, has been studying the bacteria Burkholderia pseudomoliae in the hopes of developing a vaccine for the deadly bacteria. The bacteria spreads to humans and animals when they come into contact with contaminated soil and water. Four macaques who were living in Tulane's primate breeding colony and not involved at all with the bacteria research were somehow exposed to the bacteria. One theory is that the macaques may have been exposed to the bacteria when they were in the school's veterinary hospital. A federal health inspector became ill after visiting the facility in January. The presence of certain antibodies in her body showed she had been exposed to the bacteria. The proximity of the center's breeding colonies to a local school and residential areas has prompted fears of the bacteria spreading to nearby communities. So far, limited preliminary research shows that the bacteria has not contaminated the soil and water in the center's breeding colonies. However, questions remain about the cause and extent of the contamination that has impacted the macaques. Woman goes blind in one eye after mud run. A Texas woman is now blind in one eye after she was infected with flesh-eating bacteria while competing in a mud run in Dallas earlier this month. Flesh-eating bacteria is an infection caused by the bacterium Streptococcus pyrogenes. The bacteria can enter the human body through minor cuts or abrasions. Once inside the body, the bacteria produces toxins that destroy tissue, such as muscles, skin, and fat. Brittany Williams caught the flesh-eating bacteria after cutting her eye during a Dallas mud run around two weeks ago, and within 24 hours, the bacteria had destroyed her cornea. Williams has two jobs but no health insurance. Her family has set up a fundraising campaign to collect money to cover her $100,000 medical bills.